all, before we move on, I want to show you one more feature of Vivado. So you might have seen people are distributing the uh, uh, Silings project in the form of tickle files. So you might not see the .xpr project or any of the ipco files. Instead, you will be just seeing a .tcl file and you'll be able to regenerate your entire system from this tickle file. So I'll just uh, show you how to generate that file and uh, how to regenerate your system from that tickle file. Uh, I want to do it because I want to distribute my block designs also to you through git. I'll just post the .tickle file and you should be able to regenerate the whole system from that tickle file. Okay, so to use it, you don't have to be again an expert in tickle, uh, but some minor modification you will have to do. So that I will explain to you. So the first thing you need to do is uh, assuming you are the one who is designing the system, uh, and you want to distribute your system using Pickle. You design your entire system and you make sure everything works fine. You can validate, you can simulate, you can implement, check everything. Once you're happy with your design, you should go to File and choose Write Project Pickle. And he will ask you where to save that script file. So I'll just go ahead and create a folder and call it okay System Script. Okay, so I'm going to save my tickle file here we need to give some name also let's call it sysgen.tcl that's the name of the tickle now better to click this option also create block design using tickle so what it does is this block diagram information is also converted into tickle format otherwise you will have a top tickles file which is using some other file which is used for generating this block design so let me go ahead and just use this option also and you just say save and Vivado will generate that tickle file for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and see that file. So this is that file. Yeah. So you'll be able to distribute this file to other people so that they can regenerate it. Now, uh, some of the few issues are uh, depends. Okay, so if you have some uh, Vlog file which you wrote, for example, I have mux.v, this one, it is my my code note from Silinx. And if you have XTC file, again, which is modified by you, so this XTC was written by us, those will be using the absolute path in your computer. So this we will have to modify so that other people, they can also uh, generate the system. Otherwise, they should have to keep this file exactly at uh, this location. So I think they will always list these files at the top, which may be the problematic files, and those files you will have to uh, do some modification in the file path. So what you should do is, okay, maybe we can create a new folder and let me call one as HDL and one as constraints. And what our files are referred here, we will copy, copy them to this local folder. Okay, so let me go to my reward of project and always is this one i guess so so it's, so it's one new so our mux is sitting here so that i will copy to my hdl folder as well as the top wrapper file also i will copy which is inside our so this is, this is one inside block design, VGA system, HDL, and VGA system wrapper. So these two files will be copying this HDL folder and the constraint file, which will be in the constraints folder that we will copy to constraints folder here. Okay, now we'll have to edit these things here. So wherever he's referring to my local files, we'll have to edit. Okay, so origin project, uh, set the directory path for the original project from the, the script was exported. That's fine, but you don't have to change because he's not going to use it. But this we have to change, okay? So this is where he is accessing the mux. So let me just call it now hdl slash mux and uh, this one is hdl slash vga system wrap 
So those two we changed. Now we have to change where the constraints are. Okay, so this is one place where constraint. Okay, so let's call it constraints. And there is one more place here. Constraints. Although the full path is not here, uh, this is actually using that XTC file. So this place also you should change. Okay, so and uh, this one again mux. So HDL mux. And uh, I guess that's it. I can search with this path. This is fine. Yeah, so that's it. You can just zip this folder, this folder, and distribute to other people so that they can regenerate it. Now I will show you how to regenerate your system. So assume you are the one who got that script file. So let me close this project. And you can regenerate the system using the tickle. Now that you can do either from the command prompt or from Vivado itself. So I will show you how to do it from Vivado. Uh, it is easy to do from the command prompt also, not much difference. What you should do is uh, at the bottom of Vivado, when you open, you will have this tickle console, even if you don't have any project. Okay? And uh, you can choose run tickle script from here, and you can browse and uh, show that tickle script. Or you can choose change directory here, and browse and go to that folder and run it from here. So let me do that change directory. So C uses system script. So you change directory and after that you just type source sysgen.pc, whatever is the tickle file. And now you will see like he automatically opened the project, see VGA interface, he created the project. Now he is running commands from the tickle one by one. So you will see like he is now generating the block design. He's adding the IP core, he's adding the pins. Now you'll see like he will connect all the signals together. And he added the constraint file also. You can see he created the entire block design. Yeah. So this is how we regenerate uh, the system if you have the tickle file. And now you can just go ahead and synthesize and implement it and you can do it. Another issue that we usually face is the versions of Vivado not matching when we are trying to regenerate. For example, I'm using now 2017.4 version and assume we have a different version. So here I have 2018.3. And let's see what happens when I run a script generator in 2017 in 2018. So first, let me again delete this folder. This is the folder regenerated by Vivado. Okay, so you can see all project and all source files, everything is there. So I'm going to use the same folder location, so we have to delete that folder. And now using this, okay. Okay, now he's trying to regenerate the system. Okay, he created the project. He's trying to generate the block design. Now you can see the command create underscore BD underscore design, create block design.
and we got an error okay so the error will be also coming in the tickle console so he is saying error we will see signings ip clock 5.4 is not supported for the current product data supported version for this part is 6.0 so this is the error that you will usually get because the tickle script it also includes the version number of the ip codes now when xilinx releases new versions of vivado they usually upgrade the ip core versions also so if the numbers are not matching you will start to get this error so we were using Wizard 5.4 in 2017 but in this 2018 version what is available is version 6 so there are techniques where you can modify this tickle script where the versions of ip won't matter that technique i will show you later or i will show you the uh, tickle script for that later uh, the usual method to solve it is you just go ahead and see wherever that ip version is coming and you just modify the version indicated by vivado here so clock he wants 6.0 so wherever clock wizard is there 5.4 you change it to 6.0 now you may have to do it for all the ips whose version is not matching now before you rerun you should close this project because that project is already open and uh, if you directly try to rerun the tickle it will give an error saying that project already exists in the folder which is true because you already have this folder here so there are two ways to solve it Either you delete that folder and rerun or in the tickle there is a command where he is generating the project. There will be a create project, this one. So there we have to add the option hyphen force. That means if the project already exists, he will delete that project and he will regenerate the project okay so it seems like only the clock generator had the version issue all other versions are matching between 2017 and 2018 versions but if you get uh, errors for other IP codes, like if you are using version 2019.2, maybe you will get errors for more IP codes. So he will say like which is the latest available IP in the current Vivado version and in the tickle, you just have to update it. So once you do that, everything will be fine and you will have your entire system here. Okay, so uh, finally, I will just show you how to run it from the command prompt also. For that, the path to Vivado tools should be already configured. And you just go there and let's delete this folder. G interface. And you type the command vivado hyphen mode tcl hyphen source name of the little script vivado has actually three modes one is the gui mode gui mode which we have been using the graphical mode another one is the tickle mode where you won't have graphics and you will be dealing entirely using tickle and there's a third mode also called the batch mode where you won't create even the project file everything will be in system so you'll be dealing everything in the memory of the system you won't have separate project file and all so if you run this one you will see the same thing happens and uh, everything happens much faster so 
you can see he is opening the project here you can see already created the folder he already opened the project and now he is generating the block design Yeah, so finally you should get the sprint project created and you can exit from the tickle mode and you can just go ahead and open this XPR project and go further. Now the other tickle commands for Vivado we may see later. If possible, I will have separate tutorials on uh, features of Vivado. All the synthesis implementation, which and everything can be run from, from the tickle command prompt. You don't have to even open this project. Okay, so that's all in this video. So I'll be posting the pocket sign also in Git in the PCL format. Thank you.